Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. All praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Peace and blessings be upon his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. And my dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَصَفًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا Allah says, we have made you a just and balanced nation. Therefore, you become witness over mankind. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Quran, كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ You were the best community brought to mankind. You enjoin what is right, and you forbid what is wrong, and you believe in Allah. This is the mission that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for this community and this ummah. And for us to be able to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with utmost clarity, we need to position ourselves in a way that this message will be heard in the most possible clear way as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood at the very early days of da'wah, giving this message from the top of the hill of As-Safa, so that his voice can be heard. We as American Muslim community live in America, one of the, the most actually influential country in the world. And we need to make sure that this message in con is conveyed to every American at work, our neighbors, our co-workers, our friends, our classmates, in the mo most clear way in a country that 50% of the people of this country hold negative views about Islam. And 43% of Americans associates Islam with the extremism. In this situation, we as Muslims have a great responsibility upon our shoulders to convey this message again to our fellow Americans. This responsibility is needed more than ever. When we see the portrayal of Islam every day in this country is in a negative uh, way. Islam itself, to many Americans is the problem. It is being attacked from different angles. There are people who claim that the Sharia, the law of Islam, is a, a barbaric uh, uh, law that want to, to submit all people, Muslims and non-Muslims, to it. Uh, Pamela Giller said, if it was in Islam, September 11 would have not taken place. Robert Spencer attacks the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in so many books, in so media, many uh, media outlets. In this situation, it becomes a mandatory for American Muslims to reach out to their communities and reach out to the society at large by putting an Islamic media outlet together. And this organization, this Islamic media outlet, is a very important phase of the growth of our community. Our community, since back in the 60s, started with building Muslim student associations. Then the community grew, and we moved from student associations to building uh, masajid and Islamic schools and community organizations. Then early in the 90s, we started civil rights organizations. After September, September 11, the community came together to be civically engaged, to be engaged in the area of interfaith and political activism. And now it's about the time for our community to move into the next phase by building an Islamic media outlet. This media outlet will be the grassroots organization through which American Muslim talents, especially from the youth, will have a real opportunity to serve Islam, to convey the message of Islam to America. 
those talents, regardless their level of commitment to Islam. They, they can be artists, musicians, singers, anybody who have a talent will be able to channel this talent to convey the message of Islam, uh, to explain who we are as a community, the way we want to define ourselves, not the way somebody else is defining us. This is about the time for this media outlet to be put together and to be the platform through which Americans know the real Islam and know the Islamic value, know the Islamic concepts, know the Islamic virtues that we uh, as community call for. This effort is, is very important. It requires a lot of human resources and it requires a lot of financial resources. But I'm 100% capable that our community with, with the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the commitment of the young men and women and the talents of the young men and women across the country will be able to take this work to the next level and will be able to put together a media outlet that connect the Muslim community from across the country with each other to become the mirror of our community and to become the, 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 the platform through which we share the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the value of this beautiful religion with our fellow Americans. This is not an easy task. It is a very challenging task. But again, I am 100% sure that we are, inshallah, capable of reaching this level when every home in America knows about Islam. And then the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the guidance of Islam will be shared with every American. Thank you so much. Jazakumullahu khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.